Hey everyone, and welcome to another patch note review. In this video, we'll be bringing you up to date with the recently announced PvP balancing hotfixes that we've all been waiting for. I've consulted directly with some of our experts to break down exactly what these changes mean and how they're going to impact your game. So let's jump right into it. And to kick things off, let's start by taking a look at the survivability buff to our beloved little pets. Players now deal 20% less damage to DK, Hunter, and Warlock pets. But what exactly does this mean? Well, for the most part, this won't have too much of an impact for DKs and Warlocks, given that DKs already have quite a short CD on summoning their pet, and Warlocks currently sacrifice their pets. With that being said, this change is especially good for Hunters, as they previously struggled with keeping their pet alive. Cleaves would just sit on a Hunter and tunnel them down, while also putting damage into their pet, and once a Hunter's pet is dead, they would become much easier to deal with. So, without a doubt, this is definitely a welcome change for Hunters, and will hopefully be an impactful buff for them. Next up, an excellent change to 2v2 arenas as they will now once again start at 20% dampening. Having 2s start without dampening was really bad for classes without a mortal strike effect as healers would have an incredibly easy time healing through their damage. Games were literally lasting up to 10 minutes, which pretty much no one enjoys, especially in matchups where teams benefit from playing to live instead of trying to win the game. So this is definitely a welcome change and will hopefully make 2v2 once again be more about trading cooldowns and making offensive plays as opposed to just dealing damage and winning because you have a mortal strike effect and your opponent doesn't. Moving on, we've got a much anticipated nerf to Night Bay Druid, especially their signature covenant ability, Convoke. Convoke the Spirits will no longer cast Full Moon and Feral Frenzy when engaged in combat with enemy players. This is an awesome change once again as this removes the randomness of getting one shot by Convoke, which has been happening at all levels ranging from the lowest ratings to even the top of the ladder. With that being said, this will not make Convoke useless for Balanced Druids as you can still proc back to back Star Surges, but this change at least removes the chance of landing huge full moon hits that would literally erase a player's health bar in a fraction of a second without them having a chance to even react. Up next, we've got some reasonable nerfs to the Mage's Triune Ward Legendary and Combustion. Starting off with the nerf to the Mage's Legendary, this will now be at 50% effectiveness in PvP situations as opposed to the previous 65%. This is essentially a 23% nerf to the shields, definitely making it noticeable. We expect this to make it easier for teams without a reliable offensive dispel to pressure mages. Previously, mages would be almost unkillable for these types of comps, so it will be easier to force defensives like Ice Block and Cauterize from a mage if you don't have an offensive dispel, which makes this nerf really great for any comps without. With all that being said though, we don't expect mages to drop this legendary as it will still be really strong. This nerf simply brings it more in line with where it should have originally been. On top of the nerf to the Mage Legendary, we've also seen a nerf to Fire Mages as their Conduit Infernal Cascade's effectiveness is now reduced by a third in PvP situations. This equates to around a 9.8% nerf with a 226 item level Conduit. This nerf won't kill the spec and Combustion will still be a very deadly cooldown. It's just going to give players slightly more time to react and trade defensives to survive. The last change to look at is a healing nerf to all three Paladin specs. Starting off with Holy, their Divine Favor talent cooldown has been increased to 30 seconds, up from 25, and the casting speed benefit has been changed from 60% down to 30%. The additional 5 seconds on Divine Favor isn't the biggest deal, however it may occasionally force cooldowns out of the Paladin where he previously would have been able to cast without the risk of an interrupt. However, the casting speed reduction here is what counts. It will be a relatively impactful nerf, especially against teams that have an offensive dispel. This is especially true for Resto Shamans and Mages, as they will have a much easier time using Purge or Spell Steal to remove Divine Favor and interrupt the Holy Paladin. And finally, we have the much sought after Word of Glory nerfs for Ret and Prot Paladins. Word of Glory's healing has been reduced by 20% in PvP situations. Previously, a Ret could essentially keep their team alive on their own while their healer was CC'd for extended periods of time. Although this change most likely won't impact pre-dampening, if you're able to secure long CC chains on healers, it will become harder for the ret to just outheal everything with ease. However, this is definitely going to hurt the spec in those deep, damp games, especially against classes with a mortal strike effect. It must be stated though, that we would have much preferred to see a nerf to the healing hands talent as opposed to the flat 20% word of glory nerf, given that healing hands is the reason rets are able to top themselves and their teammates when they're low. Alright, so before I wrap things up, I'd just like to take a minute to discuss what I feel needs changing in the game and where the state of PvP is at. 
first even though there are not huge nerfs and we are still missing some buffs to some of the underperforming specs like Unholy DK and Mistweaver Monk, these are still really good changes, given that World of Warcraft doesn't work in the same fashion as a game like League of Legends, where you can quickly and easily reroll to another champion. It's important that Blizzard starts to recognize that they can't let specs underperform in the way that they do. Classes take an extreme amount of time to learn, and it's super frustrating if your spec either gets nerfed into unviability or simply was never good in the first place. Increasing the frequency of changes is what's going to keep the game balanced and not in a stale and broken state. These minor balance changes are exactly what we wanted as a community. We like small adjustments that won't shift the meta on its head so everyone has to re-roll again. So hats off to Blizzard and please keep this up. Anyway, that's it for this quick balancing update. Stay tuned for more like this and let us know if you enjoyed this video in the comments below. But for now, be sure to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.